Settling down out there, but the sunshine's starting to come around, so uh, what a great afternoon to buy a property. Uh, we've just got the two properties here for you this afternoon, folks, so uh, we won't take too much of your time. My name's Grant Child, and you get no guesses whatsoever as to what my role is today. Uh, simply here to just facilitate the proceedings. Both of these properties today, the owners are in contract, the auctions have been brought forward, and we will be selling them to one of you, not only people here, uh, just in the next few moments. Robert will look after all the technology in the auction room. I'm going to just now whistle you through the documentation, folks. Obviously, you're bidding and buying on the basis that we've provided you with the buyers and sellers guide. Of course, that booklet provides you all the information to uh, put yourself in that position to be able to buy at auction, which is, of course, on a cash unconditional basis and intend to have accepted the vendor's title without any rights of requisition. So let's turn our attention now to the uh, contract for sale being provided in draft form. Finalised copies are available in the stand just outside of the auction room as well. Uh, of course, those booklets uh, from the Real Estate Authority are also available there. But this is the most important one that we work through today, folks. It's a standard contract already approved by the Auckland District Law Society, the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand, and the respective property owners uh, solicitors as well. So by way of your bidding, I'm going to assume that you read, understood, and accept that contract that we work to. But let's just uh, quickly go through this portion here on the front page. We've superimposed it in blue for you. Don't expect you to read it. Uh, just going to give you a bit of an indication of what that's all about. Basically, it says that the owner set a reserved price. Now, that price has been set at the level of the pre option contract. Uh, I will disclose that figure to you very shortly. Rob, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it very clearly. I'll then invite any bids over that level. So uh, when she puts that figure up on the screen, it's not a bid. Uh, we will invite any, figure, any bids over that level to give everybody equal opportunity to purchase the property. Uh, now, clause uh, 2.5 of the contract says that uh, uh, a representative of the vendor may submit vendor bids. Uh, that will not be the case here today. There will be no vendor bidding whatsoever. Uh, and as long as your bids fair and reasonable, I won't be refusing any bids either. So, uh, a couple of phases there that are just a little bit different from what's detailed out there. In the unlikely event of any disputed bidding, I'll simply re offer the property at the last undisputed bid. And if we do have authorised telephone bidding in place, I'll disclose that to you with the uh, respective problems as we work our way through the two offerings this afternoon. Uh, if there is a bit of a bidding today, folks, and the hammer does fall in your favour, then uh, to Z, very simple task required of you. Uh, firstly, uh, all you need to do is to sign the contract that confirms your purchase. If you are the purchaser that's got the original contract on it, and there is further bidding, then we just require you to complete a new contract, and uh, pretty much that just seals the deal for you. And of course, we, uh, we also require you to pay the deposit this afternoon, and that is just 10% of the purchase price. So, Pretty straightforward process, folks. I'll be happy to answer any questions for you at this point in time. If you haven't already done so, folks, then just please make sure that you do scan the QR code or sign the contact tracing register uh, prior to departing. And of course, we've got some uh, sanitising facilities at the back of the room and, of course, our reception as well for you to partake in. I'd uh, just like to warmly welcome our viewers watching via the live stream as well. All our options are sent out over the World Wide Web for everybody to see. So uh, that's the whole purpose of public auctions. And of course our phone bidders uh, can uh, also view the property online as well so they know exactly what's going on. So no questions, no questions from our phone bidders. We do have a phone bidder registered for our first property here. Uh, of course, marketed by uh, Pat King from our Mount Monganui office, and this is probably at 3 by 30 GoPro Crescent. So, uh, uh, it, any, um, any additions, deletions to anything at all there, Pat? No, 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 changes, no changes there. I think it's a great offering here. It's such a great location. It is a cross lease freehold, all described in the record of title SA 2016, folio 587. Uh, that settlement date, 97 days from today's date, obviously their property is tenanted at the moment. So uh, if you do want that, uh, want to take uh, possession of the property a little bit earlier and get that uh, return on the investment, then you, you can obviously do that as well. So uh, just a reminder that the spa it does stay, but it's as is. Uh, like I said, we do have all sorts phone bidding on this one, and there is also an additional clause in the contract to start setting out that, uh, that you and the vendor is authorised the early release of the deposit uh, in accordance with the uh, Real Estate Agents Act requirements. So, uh, 
that early release is obviously met at the request of the vendor solicitor. So a property certainly that uh, punches well above its own weight there, it's nice and tidy, it's got a neutral interior, you would have all witnessed that when you went and viewed the property. Uh, it's concrete block, block, but it has got the, uh, the good installation and of course an added advantage of this one being the end unit of three. So investors, you can be expecting a return somewhere between $485 and $535 per week. Of course you've got that nice outdoor entertainment space there. Uh, as you see, it's come up on the screen there. A large amount of garden and lawn on three sides of the unit. Probably that's the uh, advantage of being the, the last one in that uh, block of three there. So without further ado, folks, you haven't come to listen to me, Brad Lawrence. You've all uh, had the opportunity to view it. You've had the opportunity to feel it. Do your homework. Now I'm buy any bids over $662,500. Six hundred and sixty-two and a half thousand dollars. The property's under contract at this point in time. Six, six, two, five hundred. we have six, six, five. Maybe another two and a half on top. And it's over there. We need to be quick. Here's the opportunity for you here. Six, six, two, five hundred. Maybe a thousand dollar rise. Six, six, five. Chance. Six, six, five. Then you better on the phone here now at $665,000. We're here, we sell with the highest bidder here today at the moment at $665,000 on the phone now. That's another two and a half on top. Make it six, six, seven, five hundred if you will. Here's your opportunity now, but you need to be quick. Have us up now at $665,000 and are we in a route? Take a single if it's going to help you there. Maybe six, six, six. 666, down to the singles now. All the sixes, clickety click, we go. 666, three triple O at, at the end there. Another single on top of there, is it Pat? Hands up, out it goes. I'm still away here at $666,000. 667, right? 667. 68. 68. 68. You better join us up the back there now at $668,000. You'll return to that, another single on top. 6-7 to be a good strategic move though, at 668, 6-7, here we go, at 675, fire with fire with another two on top, will we sir? 71. 71, still got the singles in place, happy to take another single from you there if it's there man, at 671, two, three, three, six, seven, three. Six, seven, three. Seven, four. Seven, four. 74, 6 and 3 quarters it is now. 675 we go. 76. Don't let me leave you out down here, man. You can come back at any time. At six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Then around now at six seven five, I sell away. First call now at six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. We got another lazy single there. Quickly around it goes. I'm going to take a five hundred dollar bid for you there, man, if this is going to help you. At 675, second call now at 675, third, final opportunity, have a look at your absolute best man, be 100% sure I'm about to sell it. What about your buyer on the phone there, Pat? Out it goes then at 675, it goes, it goes, and we're going to sell it at the next level. $675,000, thank you, congratulations to you. Thank you very much, Pat. 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 Of the deposit 
as well. 10th of September, race orders 37, date 2021, obviously, but flexibility around that if you need an alternative date. Just talk to the girls there. You've got that substantial uh, single level dwelling on the private and very quiet lifestyle block there. Have a look there on the screen there. Just absolutely superb indeed. Of course, you've got the extra, extra, extra size garaging and the workshop for the weekend tinkerers as well. You've got interactive catering facilities on the inside there, family size appliances. You've got an abundance of storage throughout the property as well and certainly well orientated for those, uh, those social gatherings as well. Just minutes from the Caddy Caddy Township, folks. Your lifestyle is in for a huge overhaul here at 255 Whara Road. Happy to take anything you'd like to put on it. Anything over 1.2 million is the opportunity to bid for the keys here. Anything over 1.2, that's $5,000 rockets. Need to be quick, need to be sold today. First call now, looking for anything over $1,200,000. Second time. Third, final opportunity quickly, otherwise it's gone. No further bids, Rachel, Melissa, now to clear the property. <laughs> 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 Congratulations to our sellers. That concludes our bid for our uh, property store this afternoon, folks. I'll see you back on Thursday. We've got a one o'clock, two o'clock, and a three o'clock session. We'll see you then. <laughs> Thank you.